Right, so before I start talking about the topic and the rest of the video, I actually want to say this is based on games that never leave early access. It's got nothing to do with games that are just in early access and are coming out later. So I played Seven Days to Die for the first time actually not too long ago and I actually found out that it was still in early access. Now me personally, I thought the game had been out considering of how long it's, it's well, it's been released. Um, it's literally been out since 2013. And I thought, you know what, came out the same year as GTA 5. They've had time. I mean, of course they're going to finish the game, right? <laughs> right? Uh, no. They, uh, they, they just didn't do it. And then I started thinking about maybe, maybe this happens quite a bit in industry. Like maybe games come into early access and then never leave. Uh, I think a lot of game companies might forget they exist, maybe. Even though they might have spent like years of their lives making the game and probably spent a lot of money in developing the game but maybe just like maybe they just forgot it existed like randomly so then i also thought you know what, i'll do a i'll do a load of research you know what, i'll uh, i'll do the intellectual thing go through research papers look through all that kind of shit nah i googled it i googled the definition basically if you think about it it's early access games are pretty much you're buying the pre done version in the expectation of the full version being completed and I mean yeah they're gonna be a buggy mess at first but if you're gonna buy the game you, you kind of expect it to be finished at some point like it's it's kind of like scamming people uh, I kind of thought to myself most people probably bought this game with the expectation that one day there's gonna be a finish point the game's gonna release it's not gonna be a buggy mess like the mentality some companies have towards it as well is kind of a bit off. It's almost like saying if enough people buy this game, we'll finish the game. And that to me is a, is very weird. Uh, it's, the, it's the equivalent of filming half a film, releasing half the film and saying if enough people watch the first half of the film, we'll release the second half. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> Which wouldn't work if it was for film, but I don't understand how a game would get away with that, especially when the game actually never does get finished. But once I found this one example, I uh, I kind of went looking for other ones, and I'm gonna be honest, I, I was I was shocked. Didn't even realize that Steam had an early access page, you know, it just made my search like 10 times easier. I could just go on there and have a look through the games that are in fucking purgatory. Then I found, Possibly the, the one game that confused me the most about still being early access. Uh, I don't understand how Project Zomboids is still early access, you know? I mean, yeah, it's another zombie game. It's not a running theme of zombie games to be early access, I don't think. It's still... It, it's confusing because it's a really popular game. Like, if you go on Twitch, they have a decent following. If you, if you look on SteamDB, uh, it's a decent amount of numbers. It's the same for Seven Days to Die as well, actually. Like, the numbers for that as well are pretty decent still. They, they still have people that want to play the game. But the last time Seven Days to Die was updated, it was 2021, which is, I mean, it's two years ago now. <laughs> been, a, been a little bit of time. But I think this is where the problem lies, though, with early access. Game, game companies don't actually need to release the game for them to be successful. They don't have to pump the money into the game if they don't have to. They have to put the time into the games unless they actually have to, which it does seem very like dishonest and very like shady to say, oh, we're going to release this game at some point in the future, uh, but you can play it now as well, even though the game that they probably know for a fact that they're not actually going to finish is making them a lot of money. And then once it's made them the money and the game stops being as popular as it was, they kind of just sweep it under the rug and forget about it wait till the next game comes along that they can put into early access and never finish the actual reason why i'm making the video is because I, I don't like wasting money and i feel like if you're gonna play a game that probably is a bit cheaper than it would be if it released most games that are still being released to early access are still like 20 to 25 pound like you don't actually get what you're paying for really if you think about it you're paying for half a game because the game's not released. All the content that they wanted for the game's not been released. And it's weird because when Cyberpunk launched, they got a lot of 
backlash have how buggy it is and how it's not a finished game and it's not what people were promised, which is justified. But people don't have the same reaction when a game's been in early access for like maybe like one, two, three, even ten years, like seven days to die and, and even Project Zombite. Yeah, they're still in early access, but they're also still buggy. They're unfinished. And it's just companies doing that to fans just shows that maybe they don't have integrity to finish the actual game that they promised when they actually thought, you know what, I'm going to release this game into early access. I think that maybe it'd happen a lot less if there was more backlash for companies when they don't release the games and they just keep them in early access for a certain amount, like maybe three years is way too long for a game to not even, not even be in beta. Like that in an ideal world, that would be the case, but... I think companies kind of understand that when people play games, their attention span is so shit that it's basically, they're just waiting out until the fans stop being interested so they can forget about the game. And I don't think it's going to change really anytime soon. So, uh... We are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry.